What's going on guys, Drive here. I got a brand new video here today and today we will be doing a review video on the Xbox One Elite controller. And I can't wait so we can break about the hit me if I seem a little unimpressed with this an antisocial pessimist, but usually I don't So we're gonna open it up. And the Scuff Elite controller comes in a hard case right here. I'm gonna move this box to the side. It comes in a hard case, which is pretty nice. Now, I should let you know, the Scuff, inf the Scuff Elite controller, you can't customize it really anything, like the colors and everything. It literally is made by Microsoft. It comes in one package at one price. There is no different prices, variations, and stuff like that. Like the Scuff Infinity, the Scuff controllers, basically, those are always different prices depending on what customizations you put on it. The Xbox One Elite controller only is one controller and that's it, and that, and that one price. So, this is it right here, it comes in a hard case, let's open it up. And boom, there is the controller itself. Now, I've had this controller for a while now. Um, it comes with this top pouch right here, if you guys can see that in this top pouch, it came with a braided 10 foot or 12 foot cable. I'm not sure, it's either of those, pretty long. That's all you need to know. It's pretty good too. It's braided cable, so that's also really good. And here's the controller itself. So here, uh, the Scuff Elite controller has many different options you can do, and the customization like in the controller itself is amazing. Actually, we're gonna move the controller to the side, and I'll show you what's in this little case right here. So we have a different analog stick. So we have two long analog sticks, as you can see here. They are concave, long analog sticks. Pretty nice, we're gonna put that over here. And we also have two domed medium sticks. You can see it's domed, and then we got medium length sticks, analog sticks. And as well, we have a D-pad button. You can, uh, not button, uh, magnetic thing uh actually I'll, I'll get into the magnetic later but this is a d-pad you can put on the controller it's pretty nice so that's pretty much inside the case the travel case pretty nice hard case it's pretty durable and stuff um if you're traveling this is use this it's amazing fits perfectly in there see that like super nice and the paddles are on and it fits super nice so and you can also with these four right here these four paddle placements you can Put the paddles in there if you wanted to. So, let's talk about the controller itself. Now the controller is, this is my favorite controller that I've ever owned so far. Now let me tell you why. This controller has many customization options that you can do in the controller itself. And the controller is pretty much magnetic. And what I mean by that is you can literally take off paddles the paddle all four paddles are magnetic see they're look all magnetic they're metal they're pretty nice and if i the sticks the analog sticks, like i showed you the analog sticks earlier you can take off the analog sticks and the d-pad as well that's like a really cool feature that microsoft did with this controller now if you want to check out this controller i'll leave i'm not sponsored or anything but i'll leave the link in the description below so you can check out the controller if you wanted to um you can also check out many other youtubers channels on the xbox one elite controller so you can hear my review and hear other people's review because everyone's different i've seen many videos of about this controller everyone has their own opinion about this so this is my favorite controller and i'll, and I'll explain why um but but that's just like, like i said there's the magnetic stuff which is pretty nice um that's a that's a pretty cool feature, and uh, let's talk about the the other features that it comes to. So, on the back, let's turn it around here. We have uh, you see those four paddles. Those green buttons are where the paddles. Uh, those buttons on the paddle. So if I show you on the back of the paddle, if you look really closely, there's a tiny tiny bump. I don't know if you guys can see that. There's a tiny bump right there, right next to where you put the paddle in that clicks these green buttons and that's how the paddles go on. Let's talk about what's on the controller itself. See, it's a black controller with like a silver um, 
plate on the top here. On the back, there's grips that it comes with. Not comes with. Well, yeah, it comes with grips. You, you like I said, there's no customization. You buy the controller how it is. So these are some nice grips. I, I, I like these grips a lot. So let's talk about the top. So these green switches. There's two green switches. I don't know if you guys can see. It. It's green switches. If you move them down, both of them, or one of them, you can do whatever you want. They are basically trigger stops, so they don't go down all the way. Now, if you move it back up, you can go down all the way. Now, this is depending on what game you like. For example, Call of Duty, if you want that like fast trigger animation slash shooting ability, you can put the triggers on like that in amount in in a second you can switch like that and go down all the way if you, and let's say you want to play a racing game like or GTA like that you would want to go down all the way so you can drive to your max limit so it's that easy to change it now you can do it for one side you can do it for the other side you can do both up or down you can literally do it how you want and stuff like that or put them both down both pretty nice switch it back up here we go this top green button I've, I've seen many youtubers videos about the controller and they don't really talk about this green button now this green button is basically um, I believe it's the pairing button so you can pair your Xbox if you want to play wireless you can play wireless there's a if you just put batteries in it see you can put batteries in it and stuff I prefer wired and it comes with a braided cable so I prefer wired it's pretty nice. This is how you connect the controller with the Xbox. Uh, I think everyone pretty much knows that. But also, this also turns off your paddles. And what I mean by that is, let me show you guys. When you put the paddles back, when you put the paddles in and stuff, you can put as many as you want on. You can put two only if you want. You literally can do anything you want. It's your controller. You can put it the way you want. You can put it on the top section. Over here, they put the toddle, the paddles on the top, or you can put it on the bottom, one on the top, one on the bottom, stuff like that. Literally, it's all up to you. Um, now, if you wanted to do the top, unfortunately, you can't uh, put the paddles on the right here. So you can't, because look how it touches like that. You guys see that? Like, it doesn't work like that. So if you wanted to put the top paddles on the top and only use two, that's fine. You could do that. But if you want to use four paddles, you have to do it the way that it gives you. So let me show you. You just put it back in. Literally, this whole, con it's all magnetic. So it's that easy. You can just put it back in like that. It's that easy. And actually, I, I, I didn't even do this right. This paddle actually belongs on the other side. But you can do it like this if you wanted to. So let me actually trade that. So this actually goes over here. But like I said, you can put it on the other side if you want. It depends how you want it. And yeah, just like that, it's back in. So now when I've seen many YouTubers videos about this, they talk about the, the paddles and basically it's really sensitive. That's pretty much it. It's really, really sensitive to press a watch. I'm going to tap it. Like I'm literally, I know you guys can't see it. Well, I don't know if you, you can see it, right? I'm literally tapping. I'm not pushing any amount of force I'm literally tapping it and it goes off you hear that literally I'm tapping I'm not pushing hard like the scuff infinity one controller you have to put a decent amount of force on that controller to press the paddle it's like it's not super hard but it takes effort to put to push in the paddle and for this it's super sensitive not super sensitive if it's like a touch screen but it's pretty much you tap it and it goes off so that's what I've seen youtubers talk about that some people don't like that see that's why some people like the scuffs more than the than the the elite controller so some people don't like that um, it definitely takes time getting used to it took me a while because I remember when I first used the controller I was pressing everything I was, I was like oh geez like our in Call of Duty I would someone would shoot me from behind so I would like freak out and then press the A button then jump and then 
hit the Y button and it would mess me up a lot. So I'd be like, oh, great. But it def once you get used to it, it, it definitely feels a lot better. And you can train yourself to become less uh, sensitive. Not, not less sensitive, but like less, I guess less jerky, I guess. I'm not sure. Like, I don't know how you would say that. Um, but I, I trained myself to not jump as much and control myself when I when I get into like a situation that's intense for me which is it, it takes some time like I said so that's one uh, option so like I said I think did I yeah I talked about the the paddle so if you click this twice it turns off the paddles because it's so sensitive if you lay it on your your leg it it's gonna the controller paddles are gonna go off so this is actually useful I actually use this a lot during the day when I put my controller down on a surface that's not flat like on my leg I press it twice and it turns off the paddles on the back so literally none of it will go off which is pretty cool so you just tap it twice and it goes back on and you can use it again pretty cool now second option let's put the joysticks back in this is a uh, how I like my controller now it comes with like I showed you earlier it comes with different joysticks long uh, long concave sticks or two medium length dome sticks and with a d-pad as well if you don't like this you just slap it in it's that easy but I prefer this I, I didn't think I would like this this is actually really nice I like this a lot so this is what it comes with pretty much uh, that's pretty much it of that now the next thing I want to talk about is the switches now i don't think maybe very few youtubers talked about this um the switch right here in the middle like what is that switch that has number one and two on it if you guys can see that hold on I'm trying to see where the camera thing is it's kind of hard to see that that switch in the middle right there let's see like the two eyes and the in the smart the face the mouth right there um the here we go with the one and two basically what this is is your configuration of what buttons you want was so when you first get the controller and you update your controller on xbox you get the ability to change any of these paddles on the back like i said this is like the customization on this is amazing you can put any of these customizations on any button of the controller pretty much like if you wanted literally if you wanted this this paddle to be the shoot button, you can. If you want this paddle to be the the back button right here, you can. Literally, you, you can do this paddle on the D-pad any way you want. Literally, you can do anything you want when customizing it and button mapping this controller and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. Literally, you can customize yeah, even LB. You can do that for one of the paddles. It's that amazing. Um, so basically, with the numbers, you can map it. So there's one and two. So there's different settings. So let's play. Let's say I play Call of Duty, right? Which I do. So Call of Duty, which is on one right now. This is one is Call of Duty. Let's do two is Fortnite, right? Call of Duty. This is my A button. A button is to jump for me. Now, let's say I switch to Fortnite, right? Fortnite, switch to number two. A button is not jump for me. A is build for me. Let's just say that. It's not really like that, but I'm just giving you an example. A is build for me. So when you switch the, the button right here to the next number, it changes settings, the button mapping settings to that profile, if that makes sense. So there's two profiles, one and two, and you can change the button mapping for each one for different ones. So let's say you play Call of Duty, you have it on one, and you have your button lap, uh, button layout and stuff like that. You switch to Fortnite, you just easily switch the, the button, and then boom, A is the build. It's pretty it's pretty simple, actually. Hopefully I explained that right. I don't know if I explained that right, but that's pretty much it. When you when you switch those two profiles, you get different button, mount, button layouts. If not, um, you can do that inside the, the Xbox Elite setting where you can lay out your stuff like that, your button layout. It's pretty nice. But I think that's pretty much it, guys. Yeah, this controller is amazing. 
like I said, um, literally the customization you can do on it is that's what I love about it the most. The, the in the inside the controller features that you can do on the go, pretty much. Well, not on the go, but pretty much like pretty fast. Like you just you go on the Xbox app, delete, and you go on the I think the Xbox Elite app. I'm not sure. It's been a while since I did it, and you can literally do a button layout of all the things now. I think, did I talk about this? The LB and RB, they're pretty easy to press. I think the first like Xbox One controller that came out, it was pretty hard to press. Now it's super easy to press. I don't know if you care about that, literally. I think I talked about pretty much everything on this controller. I mean, these buttons still work, obviously. They're just all blacked out. It's A, B, X, Y. It's pretty nice, still works. Um, Let's say maybe if you want this controller and you don't like the paddles, you can just take them off. Like I said, you don't need them on. It's literally how you want it, your playing style. You do feel, you do what's best for you. Whatever you feel like you're better at, I recommend trying everything because I even tried the dome sticks. I was never a dome stick person, but um, I tried it out. Um, I wasn't too big of a fan of it, so it's in the case. And I have it for backup just in case I ever use it for maybe a certain game that I might be better at with a dome stick. So I have it there, ready to go. I mean, depending on the size of your hands on this one, um, for some reason, for me, at least for me, maybe it's how I grip controller or anything, but when I play and I have the paddles in and everything, um, when I play like this for hours, like I played, I play a lot of Call of Duty and I game a lot, so I'm always pretty much holding the controller hours and hours and my hand my palm the right palm of my hand always likes to like cramp up a little bit I don't know why it's every time that happens it's so I don't know why it happens to me but it, maybe it's the size of my hands if I'm not maybe gripping the controller the right way maybe I'm gripping it really wrong but I think you should take that into consideration like that happened to me it might happen to you it might not I mean I'm not sure it happened to me so I'm just letting you know Here's the bottom of the controller, because if you care about that, because I know some um, controllers are different on the bottom right here. If you guys can see that, there's like a, I think the headphone jack and then the microphone thing you put in, I'm not sure. I don't really talk on Xbox, so I don't use the microphone. But you can put it in and it works fine. It doesn't mess with the paddles or anything. It's pretty nice. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it, guys. This is, um, I pretty much explained everything that I experienced with this controller. This this controller is my favorite. I will leave, uh, I think I said this earlier, I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check out the controller on Microsoft's website. Like I said, not sponsored. Wish I was, but not sponsored. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I do, I do recommend this controller, um, but like I said, everyone's different. Unfortunately, you can't, I don't know if you'll, you'll be able to go into a Microsoft store and they'll have these just on display and you can like hold them and touch them if you can if you see one if your friend has one i do recommend you like you know just try it out maybe a bit and see if you like it or not some people don't like the the sensitive paddles you know some people might like that but i know scuff elite has their own version of this um so if you want to check that out you can go check that out scuff elite controller it has the customization often because it's scuff so but it's not really similar to this, but it's similar, if that makes sense. But yeah, like I said, this video, this pro, is this video long? This, pretty, this video seems to be long. I'm sorry if it's too long. I didn't want it to make it long, but yeah, this controller is amazing. Um, I put the trigger stops on because I play Call of Duty, so those are always on. But if I don't want it on, let's say I play GTA, and just switch it like that. It's that easy. The magnetics and stuff like that, I love it. And yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. So yeah guys, that's my intake on the controller itself. Hopefully you guys took my opinion on the controller and learned something new about the, you know, the Xbox Elite controller. Maybe you never even heard about it until now. Uh, but I do recommend watching other YouTubers' videos. A lot of people will talk about the video and the, actually there's some people who will hate on the controller and stuff like that. And then some people will love it, like me, like I, I love the controller. Uh, but you'll, you'll find some videos there you people hate it's too sensitive it's all about opinion you can't you can't compare this to the scuff infinity one they're literally two they're they're similar but they're different in their own ways but yeah this video is pretty long so i'm gonna wrap it up here thank you guys so much for watching sorry for the long video and yeah that's pretty much it so thank you guys so much for watching
and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, everyone. This is my favorite controller I've ever owned so far.